Hey guys, welcome back to the crew campaign. This is mission two. So last time we did a 200 kilometer round trip to the top of a mountain and back and had to land on top of a tiny little building. This time looks like we're doing some VIP flight. So let's, uh, let's have a look at the situation here. Obviously this is 2015 now, so we've jumped ahead about seven years. So on New Year's Eve, our crew has received orders. Sergei Viktorovich Safronov, the CEO of PJSC Gazprom Yuzneft, is arriving shortly. He is one of the vice presidents of the parent company Gazprom. He is the main VIP aboard this comfortable aircraft. We have our flight schedule planned for the next three days. Finally, we are getting some flight time. Compared to our other aircraft, Tarasov's crew didn't log much time and only had 12 sorties during 2015. The boys are eager to get airborne. For the commander, the coming year is shaping up to be truly magical, hopefully bring a uh, welcome promotion. Before the flight to the gas production site, Safranov held a briefing with the Gazprom Yuzneft Air A Aviation Squad words. Yearly reports were given, financial and technical details, equipment readiness summaries were provided to him. Dmitry, commander of the aircraft 22051, requested a private meeting. Tarasov requested a promotion with Aviation Squad XO present. Safranov was hesitant and, pr and promised to address the issue after the holidays. The much-anticipated promotion is a transfer to Moscow-based aviation branch of Gazprom to a brand new Mi-17 1A in a VIP transport configuration. For Dima, this is the pinnacle of his career. A roomy apartment in Moscow, salary twice and a half times his current one, reporting directly to head corporate staff. Only flying for the government is better than this. What can I say? We're finally going to do some flying. We'll work something out then, Sergei Viktorovich concluded cautiously. Safranov isn't in a hurry. He wants to make the right choice, as he is going to bear personal responsibility for this assignment. Miracles don't happen in our world, and Dmitri has to work hard to prove himself worthy. Okay, so our task is to follow the flight plan, surprise, uh, along the central gas production sites. At site number one and number two, I am to pick up four additional passengers. Final destination is VP Amulet, where we start. So we're doing a loop, or a triangle, I guess. There are plenty of divert fields available. Oh, good. So if there are plenty of divert fields available, what are the chances we're going to need one of them? Well, I don't know if we're coming back here. Uh, Galenjik is 126, Novorossiysk 123, and VP Offshore Gas Boring Platform, Capel is 123.5. Okay. Take off from VP Amulet, where we are now, 124.6, and it looks like our... Uh, beacon for this is 707 kilohertz. We can put that into the Arc 9. Landing. Um, our first place has no beacon. Uh, second one is the offshore gas boring platform. Uh, that one does have a beacon, 767, so we can put that into our Arc 9 as well. And it has a radio. So for the first one, I'm not sure what our ATC is. Um, and then our last one is back to VP Amulet at 707. So, okay, simple enough. Average speed on the route is 190 kilometers per hour. Average flight duration is 45 minutes. I bet you I'm slower. To maintain a comfortable and smooth flight, do not allow vertical speed of more than 7 meters per second. Do not allow a roll angle of more than 13 degrees. Do not allow a pitch angle of more than 11 degrees. Do not allow an overload level of more than 2.5 G. So I have to have smooth flight and smooth landings, and that could be potentially tough. All right. Temperature minus 7 degrees, so nice and chilly today. Clouds are low. Wind is minimal, 1 meter per second. Cool. All right, let's take a look at our briefing images, of which there are six. So 2015. This is our aircraft now. Nice blue and white. So this is really hard to read, all of this bright red text and a very busy background. Um, but I guess these are the pictures of what the inside of the cargo area looks like for the VIP variant of this helicopter. That's pretty cool. And then there's a whole bunch of stats here on what's different between this and the regular hip. Taking a screenshot of that because I still don't have a kneeboard. They're either expensive or sold out on Amazon. I have to go and find one locally maybe. Uh, here's where we're starting, helipad amulet, NDB 707 kilohertz, so yeah, that's nice, that gives us our beacon, ATC 1246, and we're headed on a course of 120 for 19.1 kilometers to an altitude of 350 meters. On course, I guess, 350 meters. Um, then our first waypoint here, 
There's no radio, no nav, nothing. Just follow this uh, in. And then we're headed 240 for 11.7 uh, to this offshore drilling site. And then we actually have a beacon there we can follow in, which is nice. And an ATC we can contact. And then we're headed back on a course of 338 for 16.8. So not a very long trip this time, which is kind of nice. Last time was 200 kilometers round trip. If you made a mistake, that's a long mission to start over. Anyway, got a screenshot of that. Moving on. So this looks like where we're coming from. This is amulet here. We're going to come in through this valley, I suppose. Follow along here. And then we're landing by on a helipad next to some factories. Okay. And there should be a uh, TV tower as a visual landmark before we come in. All right. And here's where we're starting, just on this little peninsula right here. Okay, let's do it. Helicopter visual checks complete. Aircraft documentation is on board and checked. Doors and hatches are closed. Helicopter checks out. No remarks. Altimeter pressure correlation coefficient tables checked. Altimeters checked. Total fuel load is 1,234 kilos. Takeoff weight is 9,140 kilos. Reserve fuel accounted for and included in the total fuel load. Passengers are not ready yet. Okay, today is 29 December 2015. Time is 0955 AM. BP amulet crew reports accepted. Helicopter inspected. No remarks. Let's get on with it. I'll request startup. Performing startup. Amulet 5 1, startup. 5 1, is clear for takeoff. Wind 317 at 1 meter per second. Altimeter QAV 763. Shouldn't he have uh, cleared me for takeoff or for startup and not takeoff? Whatever. Um, inverters, batteries, all of our circuit breakers, extinguishers, shutoff valves, service left and right tank pumps, APU. While that fires, it can throw a rotor brake off. Make sure our throttle corrector is all the way left. We'll turn on our or turn off our backlight brightness. APU is up and running. Let's fire engine one. That's the left engine. While that is spooling up, we can enter in our ARC-9 info from the briefing. So amulet is 707. So we go 700, and then we have the option. We can either do 700 and then dial up to 7, or we can do 710 and dial down to 707. So we're going to do that. Uh, our second waypoint has frequency from the briefing of 767, so again we'll do 770 and tune it down a little bit. Test to make sure it's working, flip this to compass, not antenna, like I did in mission 1, which is why I wasn't getting the needles working. There's our signal, uh, we can toggle between the reserve here and the main with this switch. I have a good signal on both, so we'll leave it on main, this is our second waypoint. And if we look down we should see our needles here pointing towards the offshore drilling site. Great. Okay, so that's all in. Um, let's fire up the right engine. Let me know when you have started up and ready. I will invite the passenger on board. Katarina, you're late. We almost left without you. Performing cabin check. Report back. Okay. Okay, uh, let's flip our radar altimeter on. Just waiting for that engine to come up. Let's close our blister window. Loud and clear. Check complete lighting and switch panels operational. No damage. Seat belts checked, locked and secure. Passenger seats and sofas checked and secured. Thanks, Katarina. We're almost ready here. 
Can't yet, we don't have generators. Let's kill the APU. Correct or right or throttle up. Now we can turn our rectifiers on. One, two, three. And generators. Sure. Commander, heading to the first pad is 114, accounting for MV. Roger, setting course on the HSI. Enter that now. Distance is 19 kilometers. Recommended safe altitude for the route is 350 to 400 meters. Breaking through. Happy holiday, everyone. Come check. Good day, Sergey Viktorovich. Hearing you loud and clear. Happy holiday to you as well. Commander, I'm getting too old for this. Including this must of business, all those flights and all. Please, go with your stick. No offense maneuvering, okay? <laughs> Copy that. You can have your hot tea in peace, sir. Hey, Andrew, send the ARC-9 for the beacons and do the rest of the checklist while I request takeoff clearance. As they say, the crew wishes you a pleasant flight and says goodbye. You'd better tell that to Safranov over the intercom. All right, we're actually ready to go, as far as I can tell. We uh, we made sure to turn on lights in the back this time, the general lighting for the cargo area, so we have passengers. APU is off. Everything is on that we need. Our autopilot is on. Center channel. Let's request takeoff. F10 other. Amulet 5-1, request takeoff. All right. That's where we are now. Ready for takeoff. Ready for takeoff. So the passenger is seated and seatbelt fastened. Ready for takeoff. Let's go. Okay, let's do it. So, two-stage pull-up, we bring in some collective till we're light on wheels. Go over our brake. Up we go. Alright. Now we should be able to just go straight out over this building here between the two trees. basically on the right heading already, so that's cool. Push through transverse flow. Okay, so now we're keeping an eye on our ascent rate. We're not climbing too much. The speed below 200 kph. Altitude, we're looking for 350 meters is our cruising altitude. Rotor RPM is good. Engine RPM is good. Switch to 126, in the middle seat. Yeah, green. We finally get some flight time. What a sight! The Optimus believes we live the best of the world. The Optimus is afraid of the state. You didn't know you were a philosopher, Mikalich. Speed is good, climb is good, altitude still a bit low. We're just kind of 
following. Oh, we're gonna need to come left a little. We're basically just following the road down there. Okay, altitude is just about right where we want it. Speed is good. Let's reduce that climb now. Yeah, we're at 350. Just a little slow, but that's okay. Dead ahead is what looks like that radio tower from the briefing, just straight up, straight there. And then directly behind it, I'm seeing a whole bunch of factories, so I'm assuming that's where we're going. All of a sudden, snow. And icing. Do your thing, anti-icing system. Hey, Demon, don't forget to check with Glenchik Control or they'll be mad at us. Right, I remember that. McAllen should give me a second. I wonder if they wanted, uh... 350 pressure altitude rather than radar. Engine control. 22051 on final approach. Request landing clearance. We'll report after takeoff. Clear to land. 22051. Wind 317 at 1 meter per second. Report outbound heading. 22051 copies. We'll report. I don't know. Um, do I get to choose? I don't see anything in F10. Hold on. I forgot to turn this on. There. Oops. They've been freezing in the back. I'm surprised they haven't failed. Anyway, I suppose that, in theory, I should be doing a, an overhead pass and going around because uh, I'm not familiar with the landing site. However, that looks like a single helipad FARP object directly ahead, and it looks pretty open. I don't know. I think in the interest of time, I'm just going to come straight in. that end, I need to be 100 to 120 kph, drop my altitude to about 100 meters, Okay, 
basically just fly this in all the way. Losing ETL, transverse flow, buffeting and shaking now. Bring in some more collective so we don't drop. Really, I want to do that over the pad, but this will be okay. shoot just a little because this helicopter is big. And then reduce our descent to one meter per second or less. Move ahead a little bit, I'm too far back. Okay. Touchdown. Awaiting passenger boarding. Passengers on board have set the line. Passenger speeds to 80. Welcome aboard. Okay then, let's do it. Trim is still good. Two stage pull up, get light on wheels, and then bring in a little more collective, and off we go, nice and gentle. Bring ourselves around. And let's go. One, two, three, decimal five. We're icing on a speed here. Commander, after our critical we're actually in 226 megahertz. We have the contract control. Mikhailich, are you reading me or something? I remember it myself, you know. All right. I don't see a Kritka in here anywhere. Okay. Well.
whatever. Okay, let's get our altitude down, keeping our speed where it is, we just need to descend because I think we're landing out here. We have a uh, ARC-9 beacon this time, so our needle's pointing us right where we want to go, which is great. Problem here is our altitude's too high, so I can't descend much faster than I am now, or I'll fail. But I think we should be okay. We're coming down fast enough right now. slow down rapidly. Or we might be going around. Okay. Well, I always forget how quickly this thing can slow down. Just uh, bring ourselves in here, nice and slow. Not the greatest approach in the world, but I would rather slow down a bit too early and just kind of hover my way over than overshoot and have to go around. rate down as much as possible. Try to overshoot just a little. Eey. Don't wobble around too much. Problem is you lose your point of reference here. Ah. Need to come back some. I have nothing in front of me to look at as a point of reference for my hover. So I'm looking out the side, which is not ideal. Ew, that was ugly. Okay.
there. Well, we're down in the right place, but ugh, that was gross. Okay. Um, also, we can flip our Arc 9 back to reserve, which is home. Let's go. Okay. So, two stage pull up, bring in some collective, get ourselves light on wheels, and then bring in a little more, and up we go. down just a little. Altitude's good. Visibility is crap. expecting like an engine fire or something to happen on this leg of the trip because it gave me all those divert airfields. We're going just a little faster this time. It's okay we were going a little slow last time. Descend a bit. Otherwise, our speed is good. Altitude's okay.
I don't see any traffic. Anyway, one, two, four, six. Alright, well we're going to do a no-no and instead of going around the peninsula and landing. Okay, we're down. Touchdown. Throttle correction to the left, three minutes till shutdown. I'll report in the meantime. Okay, am I doing shutdown? Okay, sure. I can do that. by turning off all the stuff we need generators for. Mission accomplished, rating good. Yeah, that's probably that second landing. Um, that was a mess. I'll take it, you know? I'll take it, it's fine. Um, let's finish our shutdown here. Everything should be off that requires our autopilot, or that requires our generators.
kill our engines, extinguisher left and right, shut off valves, tank pumps, all off. Circuit breakers are off. Oops, I actually forgot to turn the generators off and the rectifiers. <laughs> that should have been done before I throttled down. Inverters off, batteries off. Yeah, I mean, I should be doing a lot more waiting than I have been. You know, I should be waiting longer before I killed the engines, longer before I threw the rotor brake, but whatever. 